Medical physics is really the application of physics to medicine. So our researchers work on development of techniques which apply physical knowledge to making people's lives better, developing new diagnostic te techniques, new means of treating disease and making people's lives more comfortable. Medical physics is itself often interdisciplinary. We have three sorts of people. We have mathematicians who are responsible for producing the imaging, engineers, mainly electronic engineers, and then we have doctors who are able to take the new equipment and test it and do clinical studies. On this department, and often what I wanted, which was a great balance between studying and life in London. I really like learning stuff in physics and then in medical physics you learn to apply it to real life situations and helping people. The department occupies two floors in the Mallet Place engineering building right in the heart of the Bloomsbury campus of UCL. The great thing about this department I think and UCL is, is firstly the diversity of experience here so pretty well anything that you want to know about uh, there will be an expert somewhere who can help you. They will always get behind you through thick and through thin and their knowledge collectively, you, there's nothing they haven't covered. So when you're stuck, someone's always there to help you out. UCL is consistently ranked in the top 20 in the world and amongst the top four or five in Europe. What we're looking for in the students that read medical physics with us is strong maths and strong physics as well, of course, as an interest in, uh, uh, in the subject of medical physics. But for all of our students, there's a lot of uh, practicals work. In years one and two, there are courses that look at core capabilities as far as experimental and data analysis skills are concerned. As part of their undergraduate degree, students in their final year get to do a research project when they are embedded with one of our research groups. The reason I came here was because it was a perfect balance. So like for example the staff and the supervisors, they will guide you, they'll help you, but they won't spoon feed you, so they give you room to grow. We are all young and we can share ideas and opinions, we have fun. Medical physics combined my medicinal love with my love for physics and like actually solved a problem that was, you know, so you can actually see what's going on. Our PhD students are involved in a tremendous diversity of projects, some of them very theoretical so they'll be sat at their PC most of the time. Um, others are very much involved with the patient end of things and, and in fact spend a lot of their time in a clinical environment rather than a strict uh, physical sciences environment. One of the great strengths of UCL and UCH is that it, it's an almost unique combination of having internationally leading university and hospital directly adjacent to each other and so we have very good links with medical physics in the hospital department of medical physics so in that sense we're uniquely well placed. UCL is fortunate to be located right in the very heart of London just five minutes walk from Trafalgar Square and our students benefit from this extraordinary vibrant city around them. I enjoy London. London's cool. You can get around quite easily. There's always something to do. I love London because um, it's completely non-stop. The other thing about UCL in general, I, I would say, and this department is very friendly. We somehow manage to uh, be able to combine excellence with, with friendliness, and that's a very attractive work environment. If you love physics and medicine, I think this is the right place. But I love coming here on the open day, and I met all the lecturers, and they're really friendly, and I just felt really at home.